All right, mic check, mic check. All right, mic check, mic check. All right, I can hear myself, that's good. Not much to say. Two more wins to go. Extreme focus. Extreme focus. Show me more oil rogues. I don't really want any of these cards. Okay, at least I got an axe. Good start. <laughs> Greetings. Fine, I'll be frozen for one turn. I can accept that sort of thing. What I need is something to do next turn. Oh, jeez. I guess I need to execute that. Kinda stinks, but I'm gonna need this weapon. The other option is to like armor up. I could whirlwind execute, but I'd rather have the two two on the board to help me clear. Um, what now? Yeah, I don't want to be frozen the rest of the game. Back to work. I don't run brawl, so number one goal is just don't fall behind. Gilly man, nine eleven. What's up, man? How you doing? Got an acolyte to play, that's nice. <clears throat> Let the pain speak to me. I'm gonna save the coin. Powering up portals online. Something needs tinkering. Alright, I think I see a pretty good play here. So, Whirlwind draws me a card. And I can Cruel Taskmaster. And my Acolyte will be 3-1. Uh, can take this out, I can hit that. Get three cards out of this guy. Ooh, Armorsmith. I wish I had that before, but this is all right. Honor made to fit. Back to work. A brain okay, another weapon. That was a pretty monster turn. Got the BGH for boom. <coughs> no blast mage, that's good. I think I have to death spite this. Try to get all these mechs off the board. I can't clear all the mechs, I guess. Ha <laughs> ha 
<coughs> I could just clear the mech warper and play a belcher. It'd be nice to develop the weapon though. I wonder. That'll kill that. No problem. Strike. Even if he does a blast mage, it's gonna give me a ton of armor. Which would be nice. And uh, I can kill it with death spite. Hmm. There's the boom. Be good in Acolyte. Acolyte BGH. <coughs> so I'm gonna BGH that. What now? Question is, do I play an Acolyte or do I play the weapon? to do what to do I'm gonna save the coin. I keep feeling like maybe I could just coin an armor to not waste a mana, but I'm not pressured for life. Come on, hit him for four. Base for two. Blech. <laughs> What's with my boom bots? They don't understand. They don't understand the game. I bring the pain. Win axe. Yes. I'm gonna protect my boom. And take four damage. Make him fireball it. Could also execute this. The problem is I want to have an answer for uh, Antonitis. Eh, I could steal Antonitis, I guess. Attack it, or do I want to execute it? I can take the 
hit. I think that was worth a coin. Just to get a big minion on the board. Although maybe I should have just gone with Sylvanas. There's the fireball. We could have done that anyways. Hmm. Sarah. Should I give him a copy of Isera? Yeah. How about not? I guess it has to be this. An attack. What now? That belongs in a museum. I'm going to put the weapon out just because I want to play Ysera next turn. <coughs> you require my There's Antonitis. Should steal his Anthonitis. He's got two fireballs. Can't steal his Anthonitis though. Good shield block. I think I just kill it. Kill it and play Ysera. Let him have two fire. Well, and then he can double fireball Ysera. But is that so much of a problem? I don't know. I must protect the wild. Victory or death! And I get a druid.
Shall I strike? <laughs> to fit. I have no time for games. What now? Weapons ready.
I must safeguard the land. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> oh my god, he's gonna force forward that thing. Wow. Okay, an acolyte. I very much needed that acolyte. something bad. Give him something crappy. Innervate. Oh god, Scenarius. Who dares okay. Execute. Double execute. Huh. Kill this, execute that. No. I need to kill this somehow. What is this last card he has? I need Grom to do work, right? Draw Ancient of Lore any turn. It's definitely something I'm worried about. But this guy needs to go. That guy's a problem. Dr. Boom to get BGH, not Grom. Gosh, he hope he doesn't get an Ancient Olora for this. Ah, damn it. Shield Slam. Okay. Shield Slam works. Get a free kill on this. Get the shield slam that.
Oh, I hate this. Too easy for him to attack it. Take four damage in PGH. Wow, he must not have BGH. Just lose. No. Wrath. Wrath for one. Pray for BGH or silence. Three. Oh my god. Play Kel'Thuzad for sure. And I guess it's a no-brainer. No so I have two shield maidens, Sylvanas and Doctor Boom. And an axe. GG. See a Dr. Boom, did I? This was my Dr. Boom I was praying for. Good friend, this guy. Accept my friend request. <laughs> Alright, chat. I haven't looked at my chat. Is anyone here? No, I'm talking to myself. No one saw me get to legend. Oh well. So, what was my win streak getting to Legend? One, two, three, four. Oh, what am I doing? Ten straight. It's 
pretty crazy. <coughs> I don't think I was on stream when I played this guy. I was I was watching him play. He was playing a uh, oil rogue and he was playing another oil rogue and he was like rank 2 3ish and he was playing against a rank 1 oil rogue and I was rank 1. So <laughs> when they were done, I queued up warrior right away cuz I was like I want to play that oil rogue and I got Brad instead. And I Beat him pretty bad, unfortunately, for him. So, I like to show on stream my stats and stuff like that. It's been a tough season. Seriously. Seriously tough season. Um, so, yeah. Let me switch over to stats. Uh, there we go. Move this over here so I can manipulate it. Alright, so you can see... 10 wins in a row from Legend. So basically, yesterday was my day off. I worked today in a couple hours, but yesterday I had the day off, so I played uh, Paladin. But I was getting wrecked, just losing a lot of unlucky, bad mulligans and stuff like that. And then I started playing these Oil Rogues here. Four out of five were against Oil Rogue, and I lost all four of the ones against the Rogue. The only one to beat was the Hunter. Well, actually, this one was with Control Warrior. Imagine I switched to Control Warrior because I played three out of four rogues and then got a rogue. I was like, yes, here we go. And then I lost to the rogue. He had like perfect, perfect curve and my hand sucked. And then I lost to a hunter, an aggro hunter, and I was like, I'm supposed to win both of these. So I was thinking about it and I was like, well, mid ranger druid is okay against rogue too. And I don't know. I just wasn't feeling Control Warrior for some reason. I looked at like Show's stream and like he was playing druid or something. I was like, okay. So I played druid for a while. Um, by the way, you can see I started out the other day at uh, 2.4, I guess. So I was like two wins away from getting to rank one. Ended up almost back to rank three here. Almost rank three here with the warrior. So I played the druid, moved forward, and then just sort of sideways, almost back to rank three again. So I was like, all right, warrior. Switch to warrior. Went 11 and 1. Straight to legend. Hot damn. Um, so let's see. I want to look at like monthly win rates and stuff. And stuffs. So I think this spreadsheet, I haven't like switched spreadsheets. This is still since December. So I played 625 games since December. And only a. Let's round that up to 58% win rate. Man, that kind of sucks, huh? That's kind of sad there. I want to see season stats. So for the week, 59%. Today, 100%. That's how you get to Legend. Yeah. 911 games. I wonder why this is 625. What is this formula? Subtotal 109 UU. What the hell is this formula? <laughs> I forget how subtotal works. Function 10. Okay, that's just the function number. And it's T through T. So T is just a hidden column. These add up to 625. That's just the total of those two. That's the percentage of those two. But over here, I have 911 games. This is the last three months. 
see Hunter dominated, and then a fairly close amount of Druid, Mage, and Warlock. Paladin and Warrior a little bit behind. Priest, Rogue, Shaman. I mean, at least, I mean, there was a time when Priest would have been like 1%. That would have been like 10 games against Priest. Rogue probably would have been 200 at that time. I guess that's why. Question though is why are these numbers different? Must be something to do with the TQRS. I'm gonna unhide these. I feel like this must stop early. No. Sorry, I'm sure this is thrilling watching me screw around with my spreadsheet. need to figure out why these numbers are different. Oh, because I have a bunch hidden. I have all of December hidden, that's why. And subtotal... <coughs> subtotal ignores hidden rows. Alright, that explains it. So I can undo that. I can just hide all of these as well and see what we get. Let's hide everything before February. Hide. So now, 283 games for February. 58% win rate. I think it's just more difficult, to be honest with you. Like, most of the time, I'm at like a 65% win rate. Like, that's been historically like five of the eight times I hit legend but I was playing decks that were really dominant in the meta at that point like Miracle Rogue um, Hunter not recently but Hunter um, like before GVG when it was really good so I won like 65 percent with those decks now I feel like it's just more difficult like you've got GVG so the meta changes and then the meta is still like unstable it wasn't as stable as it was before you could like pick a, a strong deck and be pretty stable with that but now the meta changes even daily is not really accurate it's like almost hourly like you'll play you'll just see the ladder change like suddenly and it'll be like fairly drastic of course it's a small sample size you're looking through your own little personal window but um it can happen just because people are like watching streamers like strife crow will play a certain deck and all of a sudden that ladder will be all over or that deck will be all over ladder and then all of a sudden the deck you were playing fine suddenly starts losing and you have to like switch so it's harder to just consistently get those win rates i feel like um you it's like if you're good it's like two steps forward one step back you know like you're okay this is the meta now i'm going to play this deck um, it's good in this meta and you play it until the meta changes and the meta changes you start losing and you have to make a another decision and sometimes it's it's pretty hard it's like sometimes you look at this spreadsheet and it's all over the place like you're playing every single class sometimes it's like well how do I pick a deck that there's no deck that beats all of this so anyways so 911 games, that means I'm averaging 300 games a month, which is way up. I used to average like 200 games a month. I don't know how I'm... I think just I try to force myself to play as much as necessary to hit Legend each season, and it's been more difficult. Like, you need 300 games to get to Legend at like 55 to 60%, whereas when I was winning 65%, you needed like 150-200 games. So I would do that, and then... I honestly would like slack like the last week of the month after I hit legend um, just trying to catch up on real life things that I'd been neglecting I wish that I could just uh, have more time free time overall and play to legend and then aim for like top 100 legend which I'm still gonna try uh, but obviously I only have a few more hours today and tomorrow and Probably not even Saturday. Like, I have very little time left. Maybe 
five to seven hours max. So it'll be pretty difficult. This 10 game win streak is going to have to go to 20 for me to get where I want to go. Someone in the chat? Nope, doesn't look like it. I want to see, I want to show these meta stats for uh, just the month. I haven't really figured out a easy enough way to make this all go off subtotal so that I can just hide these columns. So if I want those to change, I could probably, I'm sure I could figure it out, but take a lot of time. Unhide. Hello. Oops. It doesn't want to unhide these. Four. I got one unhidden. Hmm. They just hidden forever. never really encountered this before or unhide doesn't actually unhide if I just unhide all nope hmm unhide doesn't work the row height could be zero. Well, the row height should be the same on all of these. 15. So how would I change that row height? 15. Nope. Let's just try unhide again. Nope. freeze pain. Maybe that's what it is. How exciting is this? Unfreeze pains. Okay. Unhide. Nope, that doesn't do it either. There's a little trick. So I highlighted the rows and instead of right clicking and clicking unhide, I just double clicked like this little thing in between them, which you can't see now. Oops. We do that. There we go. So now, in order to get the data I was just talking about, this is a real pain, 
I need to go through these win losses. Get everything here and delete it all. I think I have to delete class too. Oops. Should have done that at the same time. Okay, so now we have just February. So there we go. 283 games. Is that correct? 283. So there is the meta. <coughs> Hunter, Mage, pretty close. Druid, second. Everything else fairly even, except Priest. Poor Priest. Thought it was making a comeback. Sixty mages, sixty two hunters. Interesting. Oh yeah, so fifty eight percent. Who was I worst against? I had a positive record against everything except Hunter. Frickin' Hunter. Yeah, I was getting wrecked by Hunter for a long time. There were a few times where I had to adopt adopt a uh, can't beat him, join him mentality is really frustrating for me. But that's okay. To be positive against everything else is good. My best win rate was what? Palette? No. Priest? <laughs> There's why you don't see so much Priest. My best win rate is 75% against Priest. 72 against Shaman. You don't see a lot of them. 67 against Paladin, which is surprising, considering Paladin is uh, fairly stable against everything except Rogue. And there's Rogue. Rogue is really good, but also very counterable by Warrior. Anyways, I guess that's all the info I need to show. I'll go ahead and put all this data back in. Get back to my spreadsheet. my buddy Jeff. Alright, so let me swap this back over. Guess I can play some more. <laughs>